Captain's Log, Stardate 192.168.1.22. We have been stranded here for so long on the planet of Factorio that I don't think we can even just call it the native planet anymore. We have definitely... What are we going to call this little city that we're building here? I, I'm not really sure. The city of Factorio and Factorio planet? Does that... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, my, my uh, constant companion ZTech has joined us here. Uh, it used to be my science officer, now just general all-round counsel and advisor. Uh, there appears to be a little glitch going on with my suit, but we're going to ignore that and just carry on. <laughs> Today, we are trying to expand our science, actually, Mr. Science Officer Council Advisor Man. Um, okay, we can do with blue circuits and yellow science. Oh god, they need batteries. Oh. It's, it's going to be quite quite expansive, I believe. This uh, advanced electronics, yeah, there we go. We can get blue and high-tech science. Both, yes, very, very uh, expensive. But that's fine. That's fine. We we do expensive here. You can tell by the prestigious output of our smelteries that we're... Mm, <laughs> mm, at some point, that is on the list to be upgraded. But uh, we, we, we want to get more science. We want to get more science. Uh, we did manage to... No, wrong tab. Uh, make uh, electric furnaces, actually, I think. We did manage to make electric furnaces, I think. This will require a pretty serious rebuild though because these steel furnaces are too wide but the electric ones are three um we yes have to start and by i think a i point. have a solution for oh, it oh do you is it to start another smeltery chain somewhere uh, that's actually no oh it's right. actually robots <laughs> robots oh i like the idea of robots robots Just are good tell the robots to disassemble it and reassemble a pattern that we make Okay, all right. Uh, let's let's go and work on that then, because the I think the scary moment of human history is when you make you make a robot to do your physical work, but when it does your mental work. Yeah, when it does the thinking for you. But ah, uh, <laughs> so that that's a, that's a rather interesting point of conversation there. Like, at, at what point does it become your thinking? Because I I like to draw a distinction between mathematics and calculation. Knowing how to manipulate numbers is different from knowing what happens when you add them together. Um, oh, not I'm knowing what this is working. I oh, know it's good, right? Just... <laughs> that the glories of our of our. Uh, I think everyone loop. that's watching is just screaming. This say. is beautiful. I don't. I don't know why anybody could ever take offense <laughs> at what's going down here. Okay, plank robot frames. We need those batteries, electric engines, and. Green circuit boards and steel flying planes. Do we have batteries on the main bus? No. Where are our battery production? That is a very interesting question. Where would our battery production be? I should imagine it's up here with all the other random stuff. We have one machine that makes batteries. Okay, we need to build a more expansive battery system <laughs> to get the robots running. Oh, it's going to be one of these plans that actually takes a couple of. Uh, couple of reports to actually come through oh my we're full on petroleum gas are we yeah well that's good right mm, no because we need lubricant right mm. Ooh. Uh, never never has this problem been a problem before we are actually full. what so what you well we're making more batteries is going to help that so speeding up battery production yeah which well, should just be a case of copying this out this this yes. looks like it could just be expanded. Yes. Do we have a machine making chemical plant? I'm not going to go off and build a machine to make the chemical plant so I can build the machine. I think that would be a little bit overkill. Though I probably actually should. But well, in the meantime, I'm going to add more storage to the petroleum gas. That's also a good play. We are making so little steel. That's because of the iron and we can duplicate the output oh, by just adding train. more trains. Yeah. I, I really feel like our output, our like, goods in needs... <laughs> Yeah. Needs a good old tweet. What I've got in mind is going to be orders of magnitude larger. <laughs> yeah. Orders of, you know, we want to have the opportunity for like a, a train to sit there and be unloaded, and then like a storage system between it then being passed onto this lot, so that the, the backup is not the like the the choke point is not this this storage area here. It would be one of the two ends, which would be pretty nice. Because at the moment, most of these are having to wait. To put in, yeah. Look, we can work on that. I mean, row of boxes, another row of things, other unloaders, and then, and then just a massive line going up that way. 
yeah. also massively yes. uh, inefficient. But okay, let's see how the steel is going now. Mm, I'm not exactly wowed by the amp. <laughs> It, we were never using that much steel, that's the problem. That is the problem, and suddenly it's reached a problem. The, the, the problem is we're doing everything that every other human ever does. I know this is gonna be the problem in the future, but... <laughs> but we'll, we'll deal with it for now, yeah, yeah. All of this, what we're doing, yes. is constantly producing something. But the only thing that we're ever consuming is science. Well, I mean, it's the universal, <laughs> universal resource to bring us whatever we need. Science. <laughs> science bottles, I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. Those science bottles take a lot of different, different serious resources to produce. <laughs> yeah. We're burning coal to make solar panels. And uh, the big... What are these called? I think these are substations. Yeah. Okay, yeah, substations. Good. That's too many substations. So yeah, we were talking about um, letting the machines do do your thinking for you. So like, does that include like keeping a digital calendar? Uh, uh, where, where is the line? Because that that is like essentially that's the, remembering for you. Not yeah, that's remembering for you. But like, it could also then put things like birthdays and stuff automatically populate that. So it's not even you putting them on there. Uh, at what point, uh, where is the line between remembering and thinking about? Uh, when it makes a decision that you are not questioned for. Ah. When your input is not required. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what? where where would that... So, so obviously the one we want to watch out for is voting. <laughs> we don't want computers predicting our votes. I think that would be put uh, fairly bad. Well, define bad. <laughs> Well, that, that's it. I mean, do, do do we really care if the computers do our thinking for us? What uh, what would the consequence be? Some people would be? care, yeah. I some think people, some yeah. people will some still people would care, care about this. But some people care about the fact that the computers do our do our walking and talking for us, you know? <laughs> they, they, they were like, this this guy with, uh, with serious degenerative diseases, yeah, he can't have a robot talk for him because that's not human. So that like the line's always there somewhere. I know that's a pretty extreme example. So I'm wondering where where is your line? Because I'm quite I'm quite happy for. Uh, I think I think uh, a, a computer could easily predict my vote, but I would have to say yes, go ahead and vote and do that for me. But no, there no, are the, there are people out there who would be a little bit more ambiguous in their voting style. <laughs> uh, the, the the problem is when. Computers predict your vote, and other people can see the prediction. Yeah. And use that information for uh, changing your credit score or citizenship score. Well, as we all know, it's about having a good, good, a good high citizenship score. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine being a low citizenship, citizenship yeah. score. It turns out I can't say citizenship today. Uh, <laughs> score person. <laughs> Obviously, being a being a captain in a in a. Intergalactic <laughs> Navy fleet. My, mine is is up in the four digits at least. Probably. <laughs> I, only a couple of those are zeros. <laughs> when does remembering become thinking? When you use the information that you remember in order to make a decision. Yeah. Basically, the manipulation of data to make make an informed decision is. Oh, again, I'm using decision to define decision. It's hard, isn't it? If a pr uh, it, mm. So if a machine can store data and refer to that data when it's questioned and understands the data and the meaning behind it, then I think we got a thinking machine. Oh, excuse me. That tea did not go well. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you find tea? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I agree. When uh, the thing, How do we rate a machine's understanding of a topic? That's hard because most of the time that is all set. Oh, 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 we've got... We've, I've just gone entirely cyclical here because I'm like, well, you understand when you apply the memories in the right way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we, we, we have hit, we have hit possibly a uh, the, the paradox of consciousness and decisions. You know, it, does it actually ever? <laughs> uh, did, did, okay, so no, no. Uh, okay, consciousness and 
No, what, what we were talking about, so basically the difference between remembering and making decisions. Yeah, yeah, I've already. For remem making decisions, you don't need to be conscious. You reckon? You reckon that's not a conscious action? Yeah. Okay. I think. Because. I, I'm waiting for here to, here to hear your reasoning on that. That would be amazing. An algorithm can make a decision using input from data and it knows what it needs to do. It's okay, not conscious. Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah. You, you have won me over with that simple statement. I, I agree. <laughs> it's not conscious, but it's making decisions that you're... So, ooh. The, the, the problem is we need to... So, we're talking about decision-making, which a lot of algorithms do. Yep. And remembering. So, my statement that it's gonna be a bad thing when a system is doing this decisions for you is also not true because well we are now living in a system that where there's a lot of algorithms doing decisions for you without you ever doing any input hey and uh, personally i don't want to know the ins and outs of my waste retrieval process i mean the the, the suit can deal with that quite happily that uh, there are decisions being made there that i don't actually want to know about uh, so uh, yeah I, I i'm happy to give up at least a few decisions to my suit. Are we now to talk about consciousness now, Barrier? Yeah. When is that? Uh, when, when is something conscious? I don't know. So I've always had this catch-all argument that when it asks not to be turned off, it probably doesn't. It's probably a good idea not to turn it off. But that's kind of a slightly different question. I'm, I'm trying to think like when when you can ask it where someone is. No. When you can get it to look in the mirror, like is the mirror test a thing? Uh, uh, if it can recognize itself? Yeah, like can you do that to an AI? Can you show it a copy of itself and it will recognize it as a copy of itself? Hmm. That's that that, that yeah, that's that's a question right there. Is that no? Hmm. But is that really conscious then? Mm, I don't know. It's sentient, maybe. Aware of its own existence, but... Can we say that consciousness is the ability of one to reproduce art? I mean, I think art is definitely a uh, side effect of consciousness, but I don't know whether it's uh, but an indicator. But again, there, are a, there, are, there is... A, well, maybe my statement is also not true, because... Uh, well, my logic is not true because there are, there is a species of fish that are capable of producing uh, symmetrical uh, objects underwater in order to attract uh, mates. Mates, yes, yeah, yeah, I've I've seen these. They make uh, little little houses and stuff. Yes. <laughs> so, is that 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 it serves no other purpose than to attract, and it's art doesn't serve a lot of purpose, so. Is that art? Is that... Ooh. Oh, uh, maybe, because I'm fairly sure if there was a level of language where we could communicate with these creatures, they would definitely express um, liking one state more than the other in the same way that we would with art. You know, we would be like, oh, this child's drawing it. Oh, you know, it's very nice, but they haven't quite got it looking good. Um, yeah. And, and I, I feel like that sort of... You know how how we perceive even people as attractive, but I reckon the knock-on effect other things as attractive is probably all down to that selection process, right? So again, we're back to the art does not make a species conscious or sentient. No, I think not. No, I don't. I don't think it may. I think I think you'd probably have to be somewhat. You have to. Yeah, be somewhat aware of your own likes to produce art, as opposed to producing a pleasing pattern. Yeah, mur murky realms of philosophy today. <laughs> but doesn't it start always, I want to make something, and then you go and make it? Yeah, pretty much. Or you're like, I have to make this thing. I want to make it look better than this utilitarian thing. I have run batteries in on the wrong line here. You've got to stop. 
that's uh, fine. So I got batteries that's, that's, here, that's, but I don't want it to go in. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, oh. Uh, I'll tell can, you what. No. I'll do that, and you can you can deal with that. <laughs> oh well, what's your plan? What? What? How do we well, think? Well, basically, just have a splitter here, and just filter ah, it. Ah, so you do want it to carry on through? Okay, let's do that. That's at some other point for future us to take care of. So, do you think we'll need... No, no, I don't think we'll need... I was about to say, do you think we'll need general intelligence before they're making decisions for us? But they're already making decisions for us. So. <laughs> A lot of algorithms are just doing it automatically. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly, exactly. The whole <laughs> just putting your putting your mum's birthday in the calendar kind of shows that. Well, that that's it. I'm taking a stand for human rights. No longer will I be using uh, automatic <laughs> algorithms to remind me when people's birthdays is. I will forget the way that the creator <laughs> intended. But I don't think you have a choice in the matter. You're always surrounded by a system that's always going to do something for you without you ever knowing it's doing it for you. <laughs> And that, that is the problem with today's society. We are so steeped in technology that we don't even realise the technology is there. Ah, though I wouldn't like to run around here without my suit on. <laughs> but uh, it's the one thing keeping you alive. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So what are we missing here? Steel plate. Yeah, so we need to get this steel from here. Why have we got the blue, blue inserters on the line? Do we need those I for anything? Don't know. <laughs> it's like the uh, the assembly machines. Like, why 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 have we got the assembly machine? I'm sure, I'm fairly sure they're needed for some science somewhere. But uh... I think it was just so we can go run up to it and pick it up as we want. Ah, nice. And that's the only reason. And it has never been used. So, uh, no. but we do have the uh, yellow assembly machines that we can use the blue ones to upgrade them to. Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't aware they were a thing. So we have a problem with steel not being delivered, and and I think we have a stupid way of doing it. Oh, I like these silly ways of doing things. You're crossing the streams, man. <laughs> so I want this on the right, and I want to filter out these. Okay, cool. This could be so much compacted, but... <laughs> oh, it, it's alright. I suppose. <laughs> I mean, engineering is not my forte. I just tell the ship where to go. <laughs> and the battery is now on the opposite. Oh, the batteries are now on the opposite side. Brilliant. Ah, that that doesn't matter. They'll get eaten through pretty quick. Okay. All right. So we yeah, we need to increase steel production and probably trying to get the smelter sorted is going to be the. Ah, oh, that's why we wanted the robots. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So just... We move this lot here and put another train coming in tight here and then have another unloading station here. Uh, well, no, I was thinking of just having a stop here, the a bypass stop, where it's okay. going to park right here, yeah, yeah, wait yeah, yeah. until this one is empty, and then go through. We just need to figure out how to... Wait, I have a better solution. Ooh, well... <laughs> I think this is... Yeah, it should fit in there as long as, as long as the signals go like here rather than up there. So I want the trains always to go down this way. Ah, I see. You're gonna set up like almost a little loop. Always down there, and a train should always come down here. The problem is that one is now green, and it's not supposed to be green. Ah, it's because they're both in the in the bay, right? We also need a signal here. No, there shouldn't be a signal here. There's not enough trains. If, if if it's standing here and waiting for it to go up here, it's just gonna be a yeah, be a mess. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, so... I suppose all we need to do now is put a second train on and see why we we're wrong. <laughs> put the another train in the iron slot and see what happens. Right, the iron out, iron in. Sorry, mm. that's that's what I'm gonna do. It changed to red. Uh, so schedule. You wanna go to. Oh, what are the names of the ones? So, stone in. Inventory empty. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Wow, well, at least they didn't explode. Cool. Alright, so that signal system didn't work. No, it didn't. <laughs> and it, this guy came... Oh, no, no, I don't see which way he came in from, actually. Uh, he came from the top. He came from the top. Okay, so that that's good. The top working is good. So, please the train again. Okay, train is down. Uh, schedule needs to be put in. So stone in, and then the other one is 
Wait. Uh, Chuck Norris Terminal, of course. Tiny, tiny amount of coal in there. We'll put a tiny, tiny amount of coal in here, so when it all blows up, it's no problem. No path. Okay, so if I tell you, you can go this way and this way. <laughs> no. Okay, Welcome to that. signal experimentation, where we try and figure out how the trains move. <laughs> oh, I think I need a signal here as well. Oh, and it's it moving. Goes. <laughs> okay, so far so good. There's nothing quite like a serious mind problem to make your, your whole conversational track just like go rah rah rah. <laughs> okay, stay off the train tracks. <laughs> yeah, I'm off the track, aren't I? Yeah, cool. Alright, then he's just gonna slam to a halt on the wrong Why side. Why did? Why did? Okay. Oh, it, it, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Looking good. It's stuck Looking right good. There. good. That's fine. Alright, how much All is All signals are green. All signals are green as well. We're down to the last few here. I'm going to jump in this one. Get my radar out for placement on the way around. And here we go. Is that one going to go now? Uh, yes, it went. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, I'm just going to run this out <laughs> to here. Oh, I got, did I get it? Jump. Oh, I nearly killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great. There. There we yep. go. Uh, oh, the tiny, tiny slither of unseen down. But oh no, they're solar panels. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Ooh, and I want to know if we're gonna load the train before we unload it. And I think we are. Yeah, because the the boxes are like all stand on ready on standby, whereas the unloading has to wait for the smelters to catch up. Yeah, which is actually. Good. You like that? Okay, cool. We'll go because with it. Yeah, it, because it then comes up and waits. Yeah, I see, I see. We're gonna have a constant... <laughs> we could probably put a third one on. But, science officer, I feel that we have uh, created much good today, even if it has been a bit sporadic and scattershot. Uh, we've got the robot fly frying... Robot flying frames. Man, I wish we had robot frying flame frames like that. That's some tasty stuff right there. Never would we have to worry about food again. And we've sorted out oh, look at that, just on time. The second train for uh, for our iron. So hopefully we've produced uh, some more steel. Next time might be time for the smelteries. We might put it off again. You never know. <laughs> but this is Captain's Log signing off.